Westlake East on the road faces PSJA Bears. Wildcats in search of win number one after a tough loss in the season's opener. First quarter, PSJA with the ball, only three returners on both sides of the ball back. One of them is this young man, Jaime Lopez. Nice job moving to his left, and he goes for about 35 yards. Few plays later, Bears with the ball at the 14, Lopez again to his left. No one is open, but it's Joe Lugo. Great hustle on the pressure. He brings down Lopez for the sack. First of the season, PSJ settles for a 19-yard field goal by Jorge Rios. The Bears strike first and lead 3 to nothing. Wildcats first possession. They go to the passing game. Alex Martinez, 178 yards last week, goes deep to Ashton Guajardo. What a terrific catch by Guajardo. One-handed, but East wouldn't score. On the next possession, the Wildcats go to the ground game. And here is Jay Vasquez following his blockers to the outside. Nice move. Fights his way inside the 10. First and goal after a 25-yard gain. We go to the second. Same drive. Alex Martinez, direct snap, finds a hole, and he crosses the goal line for the game's first touchdown. Extra point good. Wesco East takes a 7-3 lead. Late in the half, Wildcat defense with more pressure. Jaime Munoz and Gabriel Villarreal bring Lopez down inside the 5. After the punt, East with great field position, operating at the Bears 29, and they come with a trick play. Guajardo on the halfback pass, and it's picked off by Johnny Martinez. The pass was a little underthrown due to some heavy pressure. Bears football, no problem. Wildcats hold and set to have good field position on the punt, but we have a fumble. And after a long scramble, PSGA recovers. Still some time on the clock and new life. Then Lopez, quick pass to Andrew Castillo. 10 yards, first down. Later in the drive, under a minute, PSGA already at the Wildcat 30 and Lopez Feels the pressure, but has some running room. The junior all the way to the 12. The Bears will get to the one after two cracks. PSJA faces a third down and had a penalty. So Lopez from the six looks and looks and looks for a receiver. Great coverage by East. Lopez has to throw it away. The Wildcat defense doing its job and forces a 24-yard field goal as time expires in the half. What's to go East? With a 7-6 halftime lead, we go to the third, and this is huge. On the first play, Martinez down the field to Julian Garcia, and he's gone. Nothing but green turf in front of him. 74 yards, and it's a touchdown for the Wildcats. But the play was wiped off due to an illegal formation penalty. The tough breaks continue for the Wildcats, but the defense says no problem. The Bears on third and long, Lopez throwing down the field, tipped, and Carlos Roman comes down with the interception. He had two last year, picks up his first one in 2022. Here come the Wildcats and the running game. Martinez on a keeper, follows his blockers, and gets to the PSGA 34. Four plays later, Jay Vasquez attacks the hole, good blocking. First and goal east side at the four. This leads to Alex Martinez on a keeper and scores a touchdown. Extra point makes it 14 to six. Wildcats still up in the third. Fourth quarter now, Bears driving. But here comes Joe Lugo from the outside and he brings Lopez down. Loose ball and recovered, but it's ruled an incomplete pass. Few plays later on fourth down, needing nine yards, Lopez scrambles and finds George Alanis, the freshman, with some yardage, but the official spots him one yard shy. East takes over, and the Wildcats make PSJ pay with a play we've seen so many times over the years. The toss to the back, and it's executed to perfection. Jay Vasquez, 43 yards down the sideline. Wildcats make this a two-possession game, 20-6 after the failed two-point conversion. Late in the game, Bears in desperation mode, and once again, Joe Lugo right there with the pressure. Chases Lopez and deflects the pass. Incomplete. However, a pass interference call puts the ball at the Wildcats 44. And on the next play, Lopez finds Caleb Salas deep for the touchdown. PSJ adds a two-point conversion, and we have a 20-14 game with 322 left. Bears force a three and out, so it's up to the defense. And on fourth down, Lopez underneath to a wide open Alec Flores, but a textbook tackle by Jesse James Garcia, wrapping his arms around Flores, and he stopped two yards shy. 
the Wildcats would run out the clock. West Go East goes on the road and picks up its first win of the season. The Wildcats hold off a PSJ rally for a 20-14 victory, and their record is now 1-1. One and one. Uh, We feel good. Coach Evans had a really good game plan, and we executed, and we did good. Do you feel like this was a really good test for you guys? Yeah, I feel like it was. Like We had people like against us. Like, I heard people like saying we were going to lose and stuff. So like, it feels good like to actually like win. You know, I thought Mike Evans stepped in, uh, uh, called a great defensive game today. Uh, defensive coaches worked hard, and I thought the offensive coaches, our, our job was to chew clock, not do turnovers. I know we had three of them. We got to fix that. I, our first four, if I would have went 0-4, I've been 0-4 before, and then went three deep. You know, we, we got to find out what these guys are good at. We're using these as more scrimmages for these guys that didn't play. A lot of these guys, like I said, we didn't have a JV team last year. So, you know, I'm sort of happy with the effort and, and the coaching.